I could take criticism. Like that was a valid point. What is up everybody? It's Chris from the Rewired Soul, joined by Daily. Daily. Hi. So Rewired yeah. Wired Soldier. Yes, yes, yes. And yeah, we talk about the problem, focus on the solution. And yeah, so I'm in California right now. Daily is actually from my hometown of Fresno, California. How do you like Fresno? Um, it's all right. You can be you honest. You know, you gotta deal with the cards that you're dealt, but California is nice. Um, it's close to the mountains, close to the beach, so if you want to escape, you yeah. can pretty quickly. That's so what I always tell people about bad. Fresno. The best part about Fresno is that you can easily leave Fresno. Exactly. Like you got San yeah. Francisco right mm -hmm. up there, you got SoCal down there. Yeah. So yeah, anyways, as I'm in California, we've been doing collabs, you know, with other YouTubers, and something that I was thinking about is like, I. I want to I want to grow because I'm trying to get everybody else to grow. So I decided I'm like daily. You live in Fresno too. Why don't you do a video with me? Because I want to do videos with other people and just ask them like about my channel, how I can improve. If I'm a dick and I don't even realize it. So so yeah. So okay. So daily. So here's what I'm asking you to do. Yeah. Be a hundred percent honest with me. Totally. Don't worry about hurting my feelings. Got it. And I am gonna try my best to not get defensive, because that is a flaw of mine. I admit to that, all we right? We all get defensive sometimes. Exactly, so so yeah, but I don't know. Tell me about, tell me about as a, as a rewired soldier, you've been around the channel for a long time, so. Yeah, I've seen the channel quadruple in size since I've joined. So, talk to me about that. Like, because one of the criticisms I get, is from, especially from people who have been around for a long time, They've talked about how the channel has changed and all those things. And mm -hmm. so like, when when did you find the channel? I found the channel about the time that you were going through the Shane uh, Jake series. And that's mm. when, uh, um, cause I think I saw you in the Shane video where he did feature your clip. Okay. Um, but I think I found and was recommended a video of yours a little bit before uh, he used that video. Oh, but it wasn't until I talked about Shane that you finally, finally clicked on it. Okay, yeah. so, okay, so what, what is your view of the channel been even during the Shane Dawson se se uh, series? Because like one of the, I don't even like see some things. I don't even like calling criticisms. One of the complaints that I get mm -hmm. is I cover the drama and everything like that. But you see like and and Daily and I are gonna do another video right after this. But like you have found what I'm trying to do with my channel. But like in your opinion, like I mean yeah, let me ask you your opinion on this. In your opinion, why do people view my channel as a drama channel because you have clearly taken tools from the channel. Like one of the first conversations we had was you telling me like the things you were doing to work on yourself that you pulled from my videos. So like yeah. from your perspective, so I can better understand, why do you think people perceive it that way? Yeah, I think it's so easy for people to see it as a drama channel. And I mean, even the people who are making videos on the Rewired Soul now, they're still like, he says it isn't a drama channel, but it's a drama channel. And I don't agree with that. Um, I do think that it's a fine line. Yeah. Um, and I think that's something that, um, you know, you have to be careful with when you are talking about people's personal but public lives. Yeah. It's easy to get mistaken, especially when you haven't seen a variety of your videos. If you yeah. haven't watched multiple videos. I think people watch a small bit. They think they get an idea, um, especially if it's a uh, high caliber YouTuber video mm -hmm. that you're using as an example. I think people watch those um, yeah. and then they think they have an idea. Yeah, of and, and one of my one of my biggest concerns, and this is why I've asked Daily to be 100% honest with me, and hopefully she is. But anyways, like, I, I don't want to get stuck into a bubble, right? I don't want to be in my own bubble. Like, something that I'll be, I, I haven't made this public yet, but all of you watching, let it be known. I've, I haven't blocked anybody or deleted comments until the last week. Okay. Okay? And one of the reasons I haven't done this, there's two reasons. One of the reasons is I want to- Have you like edited what comments are acceptable like as far as language? See, that's, that's, now, now I'm like trying to figure that out more okay. too. You know, because I, one of the reasons I haven't blocked uh, anybody or deleted comments is because I want to show people that you can take like this hatred and be yeah. fine, but it's gotten to a point with, where my channel's gotten so big where it gets too much. And if, like I, so one of the type of people I've blocked is where I've noticed them comment on multiple videos, mm -hmm. just talking shit. 
Like that's it. I'm like, you're not bringing anything constructive. You are toxic, get out of here, I'm setting a boundary, right? Mm -hmm. But my fear is if I do that, I'm gonna put myself in this bubble where all I have are people telling me kind things and yeah. you know what I mean? So, but like you were talking about like, now I have this whole new thing where I'm like, where do I draw that line? So let me ask this, who do you think, like in what scenarios do you think it's okay to block somebody and then another one, because I don't want to be looked at as the guy like, oh, he just deletes all negative comments. Yeah. You know? So what what would your suggestion be on that, on how I can, like you're, you're an avid viewer, mm -hmm. so tell me as a YouTuber what you think is fair okay. in that situation. Something that I think is really important that I hope and I mean, I'm gonna tell you this and I hope that just the channel continues in this kind of um, direction is that you're an educator. Mm -hmm. um, you put out these videos to inform people, to help people to share your experience. Um, and so a lot of your viewership is going to be people who are continuing to learn. Mm -hmm. And so you're gonna get viewers all in different spots of their journey and where they are in their mental health. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really important where if someone is coming at you a little sideways, to pause, see if there is. <laughs> Damn it, daily. I know, yeah. to see if there is something valid in there that maybe you can respond. And I know that you get so many comments, you can't respond to everyone. Yeah. And um, But beyond maybe saying like, hey, buy my book, just maybe go a little bit deeper, see if you can say, yeah. if I were in their shoes and I was in that spot, this is maybe where I was coming from too. See, and this is the hardest part for me, like when people drop things that I tell other people, like this is, st this is something that I yeah. would tell somebody else. <laughs> So, and you brought up a good point, like I'm an educator, mm -hmm. but not everybody passing through is looking to get educated. Right. Like a lot of people click on my videos, because you guys, I'm aware. I'm aware of the way I make my titles and things like that. Yeah. Like I want people to be tricked into thinking it's drama and then they actually learn something from it. But something I have done, but from what I'm taking from you, is I should do it more, is that I, I've had people come to my videos who say, you didn't even talk about these people. All you did right. was talk about yourself. I'm like, yeah, because that I'm not That's a drama channel. So I should do that more often, I think, and mm -hmm. explain to people. And something I've been tossing around and nothing's set in stone, I've talked to Tristan, I've talked to one of my mentors, Roberto Blake, about this, is I've thought about like kind of redesigning like how I just brand the channel, because I say I pull different topics and try to turn it into something to help you improve your mental health. Right. But I've been debating on like saying like, I do YouTube commentary with the purpose of trying to educate people to improve their mental health. Yeah. So that's something I'm toying around with too, you know? But like, I don't know. Something right. that it comes down to and something that I think is one of the big, biggest lessons that I've just learned in life and especially in adulthood is how important phrasing is. Mm -hmm. um, and everyone's, you're never gonna be understood by everyone. Everyone's gonna misinterpret or misunderstand a word or a phrase mm -hmm. and they're gonna just take it in their own uh, head and spin it yeah. with how they hear it. Um, and that's inevitable and that's gonna yeah. happen. That's one of the struggles I've had really. See look, I get, I get my YouTubers to come give me therapy. Uh, that's one of the struggles I have is once somebody gets it set in their mind, I mentioned this in my video about Katie Morton the other day, once somebody gets it set in their mind that I'm a bad person or a manipulator, like, it's like, I have to ask myself, how much energy am I gonna spend trying, trying to convince them right, otherwise, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Like, I've had people who have come to my channel cussing me out, saying all this stuff, and I posted on my Instagram, this one woman said, I wanted to apologize, I was off my medications for a while, mm -hmm. watching your stuff convinced me to go back to the doctor, and I'm so sorry. And that's that empathy, right? I, like, I never know what they're going through. Yeah, I just watched a little clip that Gary Vee just posted, I think, today she or something. She watches Gary Vee. I do. I'm taking um, off my sweater, by the way, it's hot. Um, and Gary Vee, he uh, was having this interaction with uh, this subscriber, the supporter of his, where they were talking, and the subscriber was thanking him, um, and he was saying, when I first came across your content, you know, I was mad. I didn't like it at all. Yeah. Um, but I kept watching because a little bit knew it was the truth. And I think that's what you want, right? If anyone does come to your channel and they do yeah. have a bad taste and they do decide to put you in that uh, mm -hmm. hate category or that bad guy category, that there's something that resonated that could bring them back. Yeah, so let's, let's ask this question. 
Like something that I'm trying to figure out, like I, you watch enough of my videos, I find perspective mm -hmm. fascinating, like what you're talking about, yeah. right? And so you have some YouTubers who get pissed that I've made a video about them, right? Yeah. But I think Illymation is the best example of somebody who thanked me. Yeah. She thanked me for it. So why do you think that some people get pissed? Like some people, like, I won't, I'll say names. Trisha Paytas said I was using her for views. I'm trying to make money, da 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 da. But Illymation, I talked about a way more sensitive subject. We're talking about abuse, all sorts of stuff. Mm -hmm. And she thanked me because it helped her better understand. Why do you think that is? Like, and I don't want to like lead lead your answer, but it just popped in my head. Okay. Do you think it's people being at different parts of their journey and people, you know, accepting truths or what do you think that is? A little bit. I think that Trisha being such a big YouTuber, she's had um, a lot of people not as fair as you come and attack her in drama channels mm. and she deals with a lot of stuff like and that. And now she's making me empathize and with Trisha more. <laughs> good. I think that you should a little bit more yeah. um, because She's got her stuff going on. Yeah. Um, and not that Illy isn't a big YouTuber, but I think uh, just the difference in their channels, they aren't quite comparable. Yeah. Um, but I think that someone like Illy, who has gone through her journey the way that she has, she's in a better position to understand someone taking what she shares and then spinning it in their own take um, to give you a little bit of a different perspective just maybe word it differently because mm. that way it, it's more accessible it can get to more people yeah. more people so, can understand it in a different way with more perspectives um, and that's all the thing that the drama channels do too they take it and they give you yeah. their perspective on it and there's some value in that because you could see other sides but people are going to be more accepting of others giving it their own commentary when it's their life so yeah. I think someone like Illy's co uh, comfortable with you making a video um, commenting on what she had to share, whereas yeah. Trisha isn't comfortable with everyone having a perspective. That that does yeah, and that does make sense. And like you're saying too, and like and the other thing is too, what made me think as I continue to empathize is not only are their channels are both their channels different, mm -hmm. the, uh, both in content and in subscribers, yeah. but. Trisha has been on the platform for like a decade. Oh, yeah, whereas, such a long time. I remember seeing Trisha yeah, 10 years and ago. And Illy has had tremendous growth. Like, Illy's got her million in about a year. Yeah. So, like you're saying, Trisha has spent a decade of a lot of people commenting on her stuff, just talking trash. Mm -hmm. So, oh man, that's a good point. So, let me ask you this, because we'll wrap it up pretty soon. Okay, so one of the reasons I asked daily, and I was like, this is perfect for what I'm trying to accomplish, is you've, I've witnessed you, like you guys think I don't remember you in the comments, I freaking remember you. You have, you have mentioned, I forgot when, I forgot where, but I, I think I even remember you like defending me at some point on Twitter or in a comment, but you mentioned that you don't always agree with me, and I've, I've caught it a few times where you don't. <laughs> like, what, what's an example of that, and mm -hmm. for me, and the reason I ask that is, because something I've been kind of uh, like talking about recently is like, like I take in all criticism, but like at the end of the day, you and I still might disagree on something. Totally, and that's cool. But out of curiosity, what are some of the things? And use whatever examples you want, whether it's how I said something, whether it's a video I made, or whatever. So like, what do you disagree with me on, or what have you? Uh, if you have an example, right? A lot of it does just come down to how you worded something, mm. how you maybe titled something. Okay. I can remember there was a video where you used both Gabby and Tana in it, and I think the wording was just a little bit off for me because it was oh, comparing them a little bit too yes. much for my yeah, taste. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And and here's my thing too, so especially since you both, yeah, because I know, I, yeah, I remember your comment mm -hmm. too, and I 1000% agree. And here's one of, so let's have a conversation. Like, this is one of the struggles that I have, mm -hmm. is finding, like, my titles, like some people know, like, when I make my titles, you have no idea what you're getting into. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. But like, where do you think... I don't know, and maybe it's case by case. Where do you think that line is? Because I make a title, like my title could be like, whoa, so and so exposed to, and it's not even really yeah. about that. It's about well, mental everyone health. Everyone hates this person and nobody hates So where, them. where do you think that line is, or do you think it's a case by case basis? Because you know I do that. Yeah. Right, so when you saw that, clearly you had a reaction, mm -hmm. but I did it thinking in my YouTuber brain, this is gonna get 
people to click and then we could talk about a serious subject. Yeah, um, I, it is a fine line. I think it is a little bit case by case, mm -hmm. um, but I think it's just maybe some words that you will never include, like mm. uh, like ones that will compare. Ones Better that, than, mess, worse than. Yeah, just little uh, changes like yeah. that where it gets to maybe uh, someone can feel like you're labeling it as that's how it is instead of. Yeah. Yeah, because I remember that video too. I was trying to show the two situations and mm -hmm. discuss why do we give some people more lenience? Why are we harder on harder on others? And that yeah. can get into a whole di different subject about like even just like discrimination and things like that. Like people are just people, and that's how I see them. And like working in mental health and working with people, I don't see like this happened in the Facebook group not that long ago where some people just said like do you think that some people are just pure evil and I'm just like I think some people are just sicker than other people mm -hmm. that you know and that's just yeah, kind of how I see it so I see what you mean by that I, I, I okay see that's something I could take see I do take criticism yeah all right so the last question I want to ask you okay sitting here with me right now am I yellow or do we have a lighting problem <laughs> lighting problem. Lighting problem, okay? So I get my vitamins, damn it. All right, but... Uh, Can I say a couple more things? Heck yeah, lay okay. it on them. Because I, I kind of had some organized thoughts like a little Do it. bit before. Do it. Um, okay, I think one thing that a lot of people are... And you're going to be getting this constantly because new people are going to be coming in. They're going to be discovering you more. Um, they may watch one video. They may watch a couple. Um, a lot of people aren't ever going to be okay with you just being a normal guy who do, does these videos. Mm. The tie with mental health brings in um, a lot of ethics questions for people mm -hmm. because they're like, well, the mental health ethics are this way and then you're not yeah. following that and but you say that your mental health and um, I think people take it a little bit too stringently yeah um, and I think people don't quite realize the value in a normal guy sharing his experience and you and you're not a normal guy you do have some experience in the field and you yeah. have worked in addiction uh, re recovery and treatment um, which is totally adds value to your channel mm -hmm. as well but I think when people try to get really messy with the ethics and just the way that you're viewed mm -hmm. um, and how people try to say that you claim to be a therapist or <laughs> all of that or stuff. I diagnose when you people. Consistently say, oh, yeah, or that you diagnose. But when you yeah. consistently say that that's not what you're doing, and I mean, I think that could possibly be helped by just. Um, disclaiming the heck out of the fact that this is your opinion, this is your opinion, this is your opinion. Oh, yeah. But you could say that a thousand times and you'll still get some comments who are yeah, like, you're diagnosing. It, yeah, someone. sometimes it's damned if you do, damned if you don't. Because Definitely. that's the other thing, too. I Yeah, I like that, too, in saying my opinion. I used to stress that a lot in earlier videos. Uh -huh. I haven't as much. but um, I think that's something that... You know, it could find a balance of doing that more might help people yeah. in understanding where you're coming but from. But here's a quick question. With all mm -hmm. the books I read, because you, you've seen videos where I include psychological studies and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, that's no longer my opinion. I'm, I'm talking about statistics. Definitely. Study results and all that. So, yeah. Do I just say, hey, this, yeah, you just cite a study, right? And so it's not my opinion. That's a study. Okay. That is just getting really clear on, like, what is yeah. your opinion. I saw earlier you posted, um, it was the comment about someone saying, well, it was the 12-step comment, and they were coming at you sideways. Ooh, that was. Mm -hmm. But one thing in the way that you worded it is you said, you are one of the reasons that people don't like 12 steps instead of this type of commentary it, is daily. why people don't like Damn. 12 steps. See, I'm out of town and Tristan isn't here to help PR. I should have had you around before I tweeted that. But I absolutely 1000% agree. Like, I was just having a conversation with somebody earlier. Like, don't hate the person, hate the actions. Yeah, right? definitely. Like, especially when it comes to addiction and that's a whole nother video. See, look, you guys, you give me valid criticism, I will take it, I will bathe in it. Yeah. Yeah, and it's hard to sometimes see the validity when your audience is growing and they are dealing with maybe some irritability, mm -hmm. maybe some sassiness on occasion, and they come at you with emotion in comments sometimes. Mm -hmm. I think the part that you have to do as the creator of your channel and mm -hmm. what you want to achieve here is to just take those pauses, see 
Are they coming at me a little sideways? Maybe, but what are they trying to say? Yeah, something I, I'm, I'm working on, especially after recent backlashes, like, because what happens for me, just to get you all in here, is like, I, I like just comment after comment, like I pause, I pause, I pause, I pause, and then but as it's I keep- hard when you also are flooded with, oh, you're this, oh, you're yeah. that. F this. Yeah. All and that. like after like the 15th one, I'm like, okay, you're getting it. All right. Yeah. But anyways, do you want your social media links in the description? Sure. Right. Um, my daily life, uh, daily with an E before the Y. Uh, <laughs> that's me. It's uh, just uh, kind of, I'll start posting videos soon. I plan to do maybe a little I was about video. to say, press your into starting your YouTube channel. Yeah. This girl is doing work, and yeah, so start your channel. I'm but working on it, but yeah, I'll be posting videos soon. I'm going to do a video maybe on what it was like filming with Chris. I think that'd be pretty Ooh, that's a good start. Right? That would be a good start. Okay, good, so we're, so. we're keep daily's all about accountability, so we're going to keep her accountable. Yeah, that. so YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. My yeah. daily life. We'll it's put all the links. My daily life. Down in the description. I'm daily. <laughs> all right, and we're going to do another video now, so bye. Bye. Why did I do air quotes? All right. <laughs>